Well, Gary, firstly, congratulations. That was a stunning performance. I mean, how do you rate yourself? Yeah, um, I kind of expected nothing less. Um, I have high standards. I work very, very hard, and I have high expectations of myself. But uh, I'm happy. I put in a lot of hard work in this camp, and it's paid off. So, yeah, um, like I said, nothing less than I expected, but very, very happy with my performance. Again, it's been a couple of quick fire finishes for you now. I mean, it didn't look like you were looking for big shots, or uh, obviously with it, the, the shot that, that really did the damage was a great shot, but you were kind of still patient, if that makes sense, even though you got him out there so quick. Yeah, I, I kind of just go in, relax, calm, and uh, that's, when the, that's when I get into my flow, and that's when the shots come when I'm, when I'm flowing and when I'm relaxed. Um, you go in there looking for these big shots, it's kind of, you kind of tense up and it's harder to find them, so... Um, I try and go in and, and be calm as possible and uh, get in my flow as quick as possible. And like I say, that there's dynamite in that left hand and when it lands, it puts people down and uh, I time a nice shot and uh, yeah, put them down. Yeah, he was unbeaten. But I think that's the problem that you're going to pose people in terms of obviously your height, which is unbelievable for a lightweight and the fact that you are southpaw as well and the big left hand, it is a, it's going to be a massive problem. Uh, again, uh, you know that, but that's a, a weight you can make very easily apparently. Is this true? Yeah, I was uh, actually eating squares bars, Rice Krispie squares bars behind the stage at the weigh-in yesterday. I was uh, half a pound under and I was looking at the rest of the fighters a little bit tight on the weight and they were kind of maybe calling me a couple of names under their breath and stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm making the weight quite easily. Um, I believe I'm only kind of maturing and growing into the weight now. Um, so yeah, I've got another while here. I want to chase world titles here and big titles, big names. And uh, I've got another while left at 135 and a lot of work to do here for sure. So what is next as far as you're concerned? Dublin, I'm coming back home. Um, it's been a dream of mine. I've saying it all week. It's been a dream of mine to fight back at home since I've been a kid. Um, I remember going to Bernard Dunn shows in the Tree Arena in the Point Depot, and uh, I get to go home there now and, and fight in front of my home fans. I got a huge reception here tonight, and we're in Nottingham, so um, I can't wait to go back home, fight back home, and see the see the support I get from my own people, and uh, yeah, build build a build a big fan base back home and become a superstar back there. I know a few names have been banded around already in terms of Maxi Hughes, Lenares, whatever. But whoever it is, with the 9,000 or so in that arena, with Katie, with yourself, with, you know, there has been a lack of the big-time boxing, just kind of put into words what it would be like to be in that arena, what people can expect in Dublin. They can put Godzilla in there, in Dublin, against me, and uh, I, won't be, I won't be losing because uh, it's, it's going to be a magic night for me. It's going to be a dream come true. Um, 9,000 Irish I believe I could be a little bit biased but I believe we're the best fans in the world we travel across the world to support each other we really get behind our fighters um, so I can't wait to experience all of that the big fight week the big fight night and uh, whoever comes to fight me in Dublin is in for a hell of a night you got to think, well, you know, being from Kildare, you, you've got the Curry, you've got the K Club, you've got Christy Moore. You're right up there now, aren't you? you you're making a proper name for yourself. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that just yet, <laughs> but um, by the time my career is over, hopefully, yeah. Um, we've got a, a lot of big names in, in not only in Kildare, in, in Dublin as well and uh, across Ireland, but I want to go down as one of the greatest athletes that, that Ireland has ever produced. I believe I'm on course to do that and uh, keep working hard, keep believing in my talent and uh, keep putting in performances like that and it's only a matter of time. Look forward to the ride. Well done tonight. Thank you.